Okay, thank you so much, sir. So, Shivain has been with Olympiad Success a lot of times, and Meha Lunavat is joining for the first time. And she's joining us from Mount Litter School International. Okay, nice to know. All right. Uh, so, children, let me quickly tell you the flow of the session. So, first of all, you'll get to know your mentor. And then you'll see a very short informative PPT, which will be followed by a virtual tour of the dashboard of Olympiad Success, followed by a question answer round, wherein you can put up your doubt and get the answer then and there. And then the actual demo will begin, okay? So I hope the flow is clear. Now, uh, let me tell you that we have with us Sumita Manchanda, ma'am. She is a very, very experienced tutor. She is a subject matter expert in English. And she loves to interact with kids like you. So all over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Sumita Manchanda here. I have been with Olympiad since long. And it, uh, it has been a wonderful journey for me to be with Olympiad because I really got a very wonderful batch. Very nice children, very obedient, very disciplined ones. So uh, I have done my master's in English. I have done my BA. I'm into this teaching profession. It is more than 11 years. And presently, I'm into a school and I'm also teaching uh, online and offline classes I'm taking. So I really wish to see all of you in my class. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Now allow me to share my screen. I hope the screen is visible. Yes, ma'am. So a very warm welcome to the demo and interaction program for classes three and four, this is for English, batch two. So as you already know that Olympiad Success is India's largest online preparation platform for Olympiad exams. Olympiad Success Live is India's first exclusive live classes for Olympiad's preparation. And School Plus by Olympiad Success is one of its own kind of uh, annual program that includes eight important courses that really matter at this point of time in your life. And these eight courses include mathematics, English, science, logical reasoning, communication, both spoken and written, Vedic math and coding. So here you can get one-on-one -on -one online CBSE, ICSE, IGCSE and IB classes for grades 2 to 12. One-on-one -on -one preparation classes for international mathematics Olympiads like SASMO, CMO, HKIMO, TIMO, Math Counts, US Common Core, Math Competition, Math Kangaroo, PRMO. You can see the international rank holders for the year 2022-23. And for 21-22. So the classes will be group sessions with around 20 students and will be delivered through Zoom by experienced tutors. You've already met your mentor. So you get three sessions per week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays from 8 p.m. till 9.15 p.m. with five minutes of break in between. So 35 minutes of class with five minutes of break in between 35 minutes of class again. So the sessions include a mix of theory, practice questions, doubt sessions, and discussion on previous year papers. So you'll get reading material and practice questions, which will be available on the dashboard of Olympiad Success. You also get free access to Olympiad Success platforms, where you can practice topic-wise mock tests for both English and reasoning, as well as logical reasoning. So syllabus will be available at this particular link, and fees can be paid at this particular link. All the important links have been pasted in the chat box and will again be pasted by Rajan sir. So the fees for this particular course is 7,140 rupees and it is going to be a 32 session course. The fee includes online classes, daily reading notes and exercises, practice of previous year papers, access to Olympiad success platform for English and logical reasoning. So you require a laptop or a desktop with good internet speed with headphones and camera because we do not allow students without video in the class. And to cope up with the uh, Olympiad exams, a curriculum and your regular school curriculum, you need to spend at least two hours every day. And of course, this will be coupled with parental support at the back end so that the answers can be checked and, you know, uh, check on your progress can be made. So in 2022-23, Olympiad Success had students from more than 3,800 schools across India and abroad, hailing from 35 plus countries. So the live classes for this particular batch begins from Thursday, 27th April, 2023. So I hope the information is clear. It's all from my side. Now I would request Rajan, sir, to give you a virtual tour of the dashboard. All over to you, sir. 
Sure, ma'am. Thank you for the wonderful presentation. Uh, let me share my screen with the students. So I hope my screen is visible soon. Yes. Sir. So this is actually the website of Olympiad Success. Okay, I'm just showing you how you can access the content. So uh, you can see here my account. So what you need to do, you just need to click on my account. For login. So once you enroll with us, we will share the credentials with you with that credentials. You can log in. For now, I'm just logging with my credentials to show you how it works. So this is the student profile. So all the content you will find here in the live classes. So all important content is here in live classes. What you need to do, you just need to choose the subject. So in our case, it is English Olympiad. And then you need to choose a subject, a topic, sorry. So let me select noun. So for each and every topic, you will find the reading material practice question and answer key here. Let me show you how it looks like. So this is the reading material we have. So this is the reading material for noun. Okay. And uh, you can also have practice questions here. Let me show you practice questions also. Answer keys are also available. So the set of reading material, practice question and answer key are available for each and every topic. Okay. These are the some practice questions available for the topic. Other than that, students, you can also access schedule here. Let me show you schedule also. So in this schedule, you can see like in which session, which topic we are going to cover. Like in session one, we are going to cover asset and in session two. So uh, we will move with this session three is synonyms and synonyms. Then we have a test discussion for this topic. OK, so after each and every topic, there will be a test discussion also. So what we will do, we will share the mock test with you. Then we will do the discussion in the classes. OK, and like Monica I'm shared, uh, we will also discuss previous year Olympiad paper. So at the end of the schedule, you can see we have the super classes. So in super classes only what we are going to do, we, are, we will discuss all previous year Olympiad papers of English. OK, you can also check holiday calendar here, like on which days you don't have the classes. Other than that, like Monica I mentioned in her presentation, you will also get the free access uh, for topic wise mock test for English as well as for logical reasoning with this course that you can access here in the worksheets. Let me show you. Just need to choose a subject. So with this course, you can access for logical reasoning as well as for English. OK. So uh, these are the topic wise worksheets we have. OK, just click on take exam to attempt it. Let me show you how it, look, how it works. So just click on start worksheet. And here you need to choose a correct option. OK, whatever it is, then just click on next for the next question. And once you complete with all questions, just click on finish to submit. So uh, this is the feedback form in case if anyone have any feedback. So after submitting, you can see uh, the schedule, uh, the score here, like how many questions are there, time taken by you to attempt it, your score, the questions attempted, correct answer and wrong answers. Later on also, if you want to check your performance that you can check here in the performance tab. OK, let me show you. You just need to choose a subject first. Then just click on detailed result view. And here you get the analytics like how many questions were attempted, how many are correct, how many are wrong. And then just click on review. The correct answer and the answer marked by you. Like in this case, the correct answer is C and the answer marked is P. OK. So this is about this dashboard students. Now if anyone have any doubt or query, uh, you can just post in the chat box and we will definitely uh, answer that. Do anyone have any query or doubt? Please feel free to ask. You can type in the chat box. We'll be happy to answer. No. Okay, I mean. Any doubt, students? No doubts. Okay, let, let me ask then some questions to you. In the meantime, if you have any doubt, you can post that. So can you tell me like the days, the days on which you have the classes?
Yes, Shivan, that you need to answer. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Okay, any other answer or is it correct? Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Yes, correct. The days are Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. And what are the class timings? Yes, correct. We have the class from 8 to 15. Uh, do anyone have any doubt students or like shall we start with the session? If you have any doubt or query, uh, you can write in the chat box. Or shall we start with the session? No, so you can start. Okay. Oh, and let's start the session in case if anyone have any doubt, I am sharing the links again. So there is the WhatsApp number. You can just message on that and someone from our team will definitely help regarding that. OK, so over to you, Sumita, ma'am. OK. Now. Uh... Today we'll be doing the topic adjectives. So I want all of you to write in chat. Do you have any idea about adjective? What is adjective? According to you all, what is adjective? Write in chat, please. Write everyone. What is adjective? Yes, that's correct. Adjectives are describing words. Now, when we describe something, that particular word is taken to be there as an adjective. Now, adjectives qualify. That is, it tells us something more about a noun. Now, there are three sentences given over there. The fat cat sat on a mat. Now, in this particular sentence, I want all of you to write in chat which particular word is trying to tell us something about the sentence, something about the cat? Which particular word? That's correct. The, for the very first sentence, the word fat tells us something about the cat. Now the cat is being described here as fat. So the word fat is taken to be there as an adjective. Now the second sentence, Ram has acted in many plays. Now when I'll be doing in further slides, I'll be doing different types of adjectives. So while I'll be doing different types, you'll be able to understand why many is taken to be there as an adjective. So in this sentence, many is taken to be there as an adjective word. Now the third sentence, this poem was written by John. Now again in this sentence, this is taken to be there as an adjective. Now, the very first type of adjective is adjective of quality. Now, please remember, if in your class you get qualitative adjective, don't be confused. Don't get yourself confused because qualitative adjective is also called as adjective of quality. So, if teacher gives you a, any word related to qualitative adjective, don't sit and think because it is the same thing. Only the names are different. Adjective of quality and qualitative adjectives means the same. You are going to tell something about the noun, any quality about the noun. Quality can be taken to be as good or it can be taken to be as bad. Now, adjective of quantity is also called as quantitative adjective. So if teacher gives you quantitative adjective, don't be confused because adjective of quantity and quantitative adjective both means the same. Demonstrative adjective is the third type. The fourth one is adjective of number. Number five, interrogative adjective, and then possessive adjective. Now the very first adjective which we are going to do is adjective of quality, or we may say qualitative adjective. 
Now it tells us of what kind a person or thing is. Now see in the very first example, a red car. Now in this sentence, please write in chat how car is being described here as in the very first sentence, I just want you to write first sentence, a red car. How car is being described here as? Yes, very good. The car is being described here as red. Now, the second sentence is a happy boy. Now, over here, boy is being described here as happy. Third sentence, a tall man. Man is being described here as tall. So, when we talk about adjective of quality, we are going to come up with some of the words that try to describe noun in a sentence. Now, to find out whether an adjective is quality or no, ask a question, what kind of person or thing. Now, please remember one thing. If you get, you need to underline or you need to write the different types of adjective. If you are getting confused, please keep a question in your mind. What kind of car or what kind of anything? Like in this sentence, a red car. So if I'm saying what kind of car, so I'm getting my answer as red. So see, I'm getting my answer. So whenever we talk about adjective of quality, we always try to go with a question of what kind of person or thing is. Now in the next sentence, you see a happy boy. Now see the question, what kind of boy? So my answer should be happy. So see, when I'm asking this question to myself, you're not going to ask to someone else. You're going to ask this question to yourself to get the answer. Like in a sentence, if you're having difficulty in finding the type of adjective, try to ask questions. And all the questions are according to the types. For quality, you have what kind of something, what kind of person or thing. Any question anyone have regarding adjective of quality? If you have any doubt or if you have not understood, please write in chat. I'll explain again. If it's clear, just write it's clear or what. Uh, if you don't want me to repeat again, write no. It's clear? Okay. No, it doesn't answer the question how, Shivin. You are going confusing yourself with adverb. Yeah. When we talk about adverb of when we talk about adverb of manner, we do come up with a question how. Okay, beta. Shivin, you were there with me na last time. Okay. Now adjectives of quantity. Now, when we talk about adjective of quantity, adjective of quantity is also called as quantitative adjective. Now, quantity means what? Quantity is the word which we use when we don't know any particular number. When we don't know how much it is, when we don't know any particular number of it. Now, for example, see, uh, first let me read it out to you. An adjective which tells us how much of something is meant. There is sufficient food for all of us. Now, in this sentence, when I'm saying there is sufficient food for all of us, very good, Amaya. Amaya. Yes, sufficient is the correct answer. Sufficient is what? Quantity. How quantity? Because tell me one thing. Can we count food? We can't count food, isn't it? We can count. Maybe I can count the plate. I can count the bowl of it. But I can't count the food itself. Food is uncountable. Okay? So when something is uncountable, how will you count? So obviously the number won't be there. So when we talk about quantity, we are always going to come up with such words that come up with that tells us, okay, we are not able to count it. Now, see the second example. There was no milk in the jar. Now, in this sentence, no milk in the jar. So milk is again what? It's uncountable. You can't count milk. You can count the bottle of milk. You can count the glass of milk, but you can't count the milk itself. Yes. So when we can't count anything, we are not, if we are not able to count, so obviously it's not, a, we are not going to put any number. We are going to use such word, maybe no milk, little milk. Such words we are going to use that tells us something about the quantity. There are many people standing in the queue. Now many people, people always goes with many. There's so many people over here. 
maybe i'm not i'm not able to count so again many helps us to understand that okay i'm not able to count so when i'm not able to count it there won't be any number so we are going to put adjective of quantity that means the word many helps us to understand that yes this is an adjective of quantity now see there are so many words over here any some many no sufficient so these were there are many many other words also little any so so many other words are there which helps us to understand that it is an adjective of quantity because we are not able to count it now when we talk about adjective of quantity the question which need to be there in our mind is how much of something is there how much please remember when we talk about adjective of quantity how much see you can relate these uh, this question with the any one of the sentence how much food is there for all of us see i am asking question to myself now i want all of you to write in chat if i am asking question like this how much food is there for all of us so what should be the answer to this one word only i want please remember when we talk about adjective you will only focus on one word but it may happen in one sentence you may get two adjectives but at least the word should be one you can't come up with two three words to get the yes sufficient is the correct answer for the first one when i am asking question how much of something is there for all of us how much food is there for all of us so you may say sufficient so when i say sufficient i am getting answer as adjective of quantity am i clear anyone have any question any doubt please ask if you have okay no question no doubt anyone any question any doubt related to this adjective okay now demonstrative adjective now when we talk about demonstrative adjective please remember uh, demonstrative adjectives always point out towards certain things if anything is kept close to me let me see how many of you can answer this if anything is kept close to me what am i going to use this or that if any one particular thing one singular i am talking about if one particular thing is kept close to me i am going to use this or that very good yes this i am going to use this if any one particular thing is kept far away from me what am i going to use this or that if any one particular thing is kept far away from me what am i going to use this or that very good yes we are going to use that now this is always used when something is kept close to me and it is one singular maybe you all are having one book which is very much close which maybe you have one book with you so you may say this is my book this book belongs to me why you are saying this because that book is kept close to you and you are having only one book so you are going to use the word this now when i am saying that that when one particular thing one singular thing is kept far away from me if i am going to say that is my book why i am saying that because very first thing that particular thing is kept far and secondly why that because there is only one book i am talking about so please remember when we talk about this and that we always think about one particular thing that means singular one now i want all of you to write in chat like when i am talking about many things which are kept close to me many things which are kept close to me what am i going to use these or those when many things are kept close to me i am going to use these very good the ones who are writing so these i am going to use when i many things are kept close to me now when many things are kept far away from me what am i going to do those or these when many things are kept far away from me what am i going to use those or these very good yes i am going to use those 
So those and these are always used when we are talking about something which is in a plural form. Many, many books are there. Many toys are there. Maybe uh, if many books are kept close to me, I'm going to say, these are my books. These books belongs to me. So see, I'm saying books. I'm not saying book. Why? Because if I'm using the word these, it indicates that I'm talking about many. And these also tells us that something, there are many books which are kept close to me. And when I'm talking about the word those, those means, again, I'm talking about many, many in number. And that, that but uh, those books maybe or toys or anything are kept far away from me. So I'm going to use those. Remember one thing, when we talk about demonstrative adjective, apart from these four words, you are not going to have any other words. Demonstrative adjectives only have this, that, these, those. Only these four words are demonstrative adjective. Now see, this park has a beautiful fountain. Why I'm saying this? Because park is, it must be closer to me. Yes? Now, when I'm saying these girls are my classmates, now again, girls, there are many girls and maybe uh, many girls are standing very, uh, they may be standing opposite to me or very close to me. Um, so I may say these girls. Now, if I'm saying those students are waiting to see you. Now, students, so many students are there. And I'm saying the word those because there are many in number and they are far away from me. That white building is the temple. I'm talking about one particular white building and that particular building is far away from me. So I'm saying the word that to indicate that, yes, that one particular building is far away from me. Anyone have any doubt, any question related to demonstrative adjective? Any doubt? Okay. Now, adjective of number. Now, when we talk about adjective of number, see, in this question, number means what? Number means any number it can be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 90, 900, any, any number it can. Yeah? So, when we talk about adjective of number, an adjective tells the number of a noun. Now, see over here, if I'm saying Ram is 10 years old, so obviously, now we can count years. Whenever your birthday comes, you say, I'm 7 years old, I'm 8 years old, I'm 10 years old, I'm 12 years old. Yeah? How can you say that? Because you're able to count it. So when we are able to count something, we are always going to come up with a number. The first match will be played tomorrow. Now, the first Remember the words like first, second, third, fourth, these are also taken to be there as a number. Match is something which we can count. I had six cookies yesterday. Now again, see cookies. I can count cookies. Cookies are countable ones. So I'm going to use the number that is six. Any number you can use. But OVI have used six because I'm able to count those cookies and those cookies are six in number. Now, when we talk about adjective of number, the question which needs to be there in our mind is how many? Now, if I'm saying the first match will be played tomorrow, I may say how many match will be played tomorrow? Tomorrow, so you may say the very first match will be played tomorrow, the first match. So first word helps you to understand this is adjective of number. Adjective of number is one of the easiest because number always tell us, yes, yes when we are uh, reading the word number, we are able to understand what it is trying to tell us. Okay. Now uh, I'll be asking a few questions. As of now, you all are very much able to understand. Let me see, when we talk about adjective of quantity, adjective of quantity, what question need to be there in our mind? Adjective of quantity, what question need to be there in our mind? 
Write in chat, please. Question I want. What question you're supposed to uh, ask yourself? Yes, Shivin, good. Yes, I can read yours. Shriyash, yes. Everyone write. I can't see some. I can see some of you are not writing. Good, Me Meha, yes. Arash, uh, yes, Shrishan. Okay, Akira. Akira, you have written both. So am I going to, uh, am I supposed to choose any one among these? Write one, Vita. Yeah, Akira, I will choose. No, Vita, you will choose. You will tell me how much or how many. When we talk about adjective of quantity, what it should be, what question should be there in our mind? Okay, good. Some of you are writing how many no, we are not going to ask how many. We are going to ask how much. Good, the ones who are writing how much. Okay. Now, please remember, whenever you, students always get confused with adjective of quantity and number, that what question should be there in mind. Please remember, adjective of quantity, when we talk about how much of something is there, how much question goes for quantity. And when we talk about how many, that goes for adjective of number. Okay? It's clear? Okay. Now, interrogative adjective, interrogative adjective asks the question. This is very easy. Interrogative adjective is what? It always asks a question. Now, see, there are three words over here. What, which, whose? Please remember, as per your level, class 3-4 level, we are only going to use three, these three words as interrogative adjective. The examples are there. Whose diary is this? Now, see, this is a question which I'm asking. So, obviously, I'm going to put a question mark at the end. And the word whose is used to ask question. Please remember what, which, and whose. These three words will be used in the beginning of the sentence when I'm asking any question. You are not going to use these, sen these words in the middle of the sentence and say that this is interrogative adjective. No, teacher will keep you wrong. You are not going to use these three words in the middle of the sentence and mark it as interrogative adjective. Please don't do that. Always use interrogative adjective these three words in the beginning of the sentence and that even to ask when you are asking a question question should how are you teacher will give wrong how you are not going to use for interrogative adjective as of now okay where are you going no you may think that ma'am where are you going is a question so why can't it be an interrogative adjective it can't be interrogative because there are certain rules which you need to follow. There are certain words that falls under different types of adjectives. So when we talk about interrogative adjective, you are only going to use these three words as a question. And please remember question mark should be there at the end of the sentence. Yes, Shishan, you want to give an example? You may write it in chat, Vita. I'll read it over there. Anyone have any question, any doubt related to interrogative adjective? Anyone have any question? Okay. Let Shishan write one example and then I'll move to the next slide. Any one of you want to write any example, you can write in chat. If you all want to write any example, you can write in chat. No. See, when I'm when you're saying what is your name, na? Now see, can you find any noun in this word, in this particular sentence? If I'm saying what is your name? You may say, yes, ma'am, what, what is there? So how, why can't I use? But better read this, read the head, uh, very first line. 
when i read out when i read this line to you it is asking it is saying that ask a question about a noun okay when i'm about noun you ha have to ask a question yes shishan you are correct so which word and the car is a noun okay am i clear yes uh, you brought you brought me you can write in chat i won't be able to un you won't be able to unmute yourself you may write it in chat please you may use the question what is the color of that car okay like this the question can be formed when you are asking anything related to noun and you are using whose which what your question is correct yes correct whose pencil is this yes shivan that's correct okay see pencil is again a noun and whose word is already there for interrogative adjective whose book is this that that is also a book is a noun and whose word is being used to tell something about the sentence and uh, please uh, add question mark at the end please don't forget it because otherwise teacher will cut your marks over there okay so i hope no one have any question any doubt related to interrogative adjective no question no doubt Right. now possessive adjective now when we talk about possessive adjective anyone have any idea about possessive adjective write it in chat please let me see if anyone have any idea don't read it from there don't bother to read it from there think if you know anything about it then write or else i, I will explain you any idea about possessive adjective okay now when we talk about possessive adjective possessive means what possession possession means what anything that belongs to me to you or to someone else any belonging anything that belongs to you have a pencil that belongs to you you have a book that belongs to you have a bag that belongs to your mother she belongs to you your sister your brother they all belongs to you yes so when we talk about any belonging they they are taken to be there as possessive adjective yes that's correct something that belongs belong to someone you all are writing in chat i can read good now see possessive adjective is used to show that something belongs to someone now there are few words like my his her our their your now beta these words are only taken to be there as possessive adjective as per your level as per your class we do have when we go to higher classes we come across many other words but as per your level as per your class 3 4 we don't exceed we don't use any words apart from these so when i am saying my sister lives in bhopal so over here i am talking about who over here right in chat let me see when i'm saying my sister lives in bhopal i'm talking about who over here about whom am i talking about <laughs> i'm talking about good i'm talking about sister and she belongs to who she belongs to me my sister yes when i'm saying my sister that means she is my sister she belongs to me clear so in this sentence which word help you to understand belonging the word my my helps you to understand that okay you i am talking about my sister if i am going to say your sister so which word help you to understand i am talking about whose sister the word your clear now if i am saying if you exercise then your health will improve now again health is something that belongs to each one of us isn't it 
so when i'm saying your health or when i'm saying my health so what exactly i'm talking i'm talking about the health that belongs to someone that belongs to me or to you or maybe to someone else so health is also what health is my belonging if i'm going if i'm saying if you, if i exercise then I, my health will improve so my health i'm talking about my health the word my tells us something that oh i'm talking about my health if i'm talking about your health i am going to use the word your and the your word will help you to understand that yes this is a possessive adjective clear okay again i was able to see someone was writing what is your name so i want to tell you one thing if you are asking this question again related to the previous slide related to uh, i'll be opening this slide again because i have seen one child asking me the question again interrogative adjective if beta you are asking me the question related to this particular slide i already explained like what is your name in that particular sentence what is not an interrogative adjective because i am not talking about any noun in that sentence there is no noun in that sentence when you don't have noun in the sentence no matter of these if you are using these words it can't be interrogative adjective okay so uh, okay beta now i want all of you to write one example in chat let me see that helps me to understand that yes you are talking about something that belongs to you or to someone else but these words should be there any um, one word among these please don't come up with many examples only one i want try if you all can one example related to possessive adjective yes very good shivan that's correct my book has 100 pages have 100 pages okay my word good i lost my book okay this is my book okay everyone will say book only think about something different his cap looks beautiful very good yes that's correct so his word help you to understand i'm talking about the cap that belongs to someone else my sister is staying in delhi okay my i lost my pencil box okay my very good anyone wants to write, left to write this is your bag good your word help you to understand that 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 this bag belongs to someone else this house belongs to them good now this house belongs to them fine you're coming up with this sentence but uh, are you able to find any like this word in this particular one in this list of words are you able to find the word this so in such case i'm not i won't be taking this sentence as possessive adjective because when i'm having i just want you all to come up with the words which are mentioned in front of you which are there like my his her are there your okay i'm not saying you are wrong you are talking about belonging but when i say this this goes for something different some different types of uh, grammar work like the topics you are not going to count this in this particular or possessive adjective okay very good all of you now quickly write in chat okay one by right to uh, number one first the princess wore a lovely gown now which word is an adjective one word only i want please first sentence only first sentence only good good yes continue writing let me see how many of you can very good so the word lovely help us to understand that yes she is the word lovely describes what the gown yeah now the next one the ch children clapped when they saw the mag magician clever trick now which word for the second sentence which word is an adjective
everyone try please very good that's correct so clever word help us to understand that that yes this word is trying to tell us something about the trick now the third sentence Write everyone the answer in chat, please. Let me see. Okay. Now, the, zip, the zebra is a stripped animal. So, stripped word is adjective. Very good. Now, the fourth one. My sister writes funny stories. Now, do this nicely. My sister writes funny stories. Okay, good. Funny is the correct one. Now, Vita, in this sentence, when I'm saying my sister writes funny stories, funny tells us something about the quality of that story. Funny word is describing, but what about my? What about the word my? Sister, she belongs to who? To me. So I'm saying my sister. I'm using the word my over here. Yes? So, please remember in one sentence, you can come up with two adjectives even. There is no compulsion that only one adjective word need to be there. Now, the last one. David could not carry the box up the steep stairs. Now, which word is an adjective? Yes, the ones who are writing good. Okay, great. So the word steep tells us something about the stairs. Great, good. Now this one. Use adjectives given below to complete the sentence. Now see, there are near about five words in the box. You have to choose the correct one. And dash man. Very good. Quickly, quickly write. If you don't have... Uh, Okay, write one only first. Then I'll go with the second. The dash sun. The dash sun. Okay, good. The bright sun and old man. These two are the correct answers. Now the next one. A dash house. <coughs> a dash house. A dash house. Very good. A big house. Number four. Dash banana. Dash bananas. Banana, sorry. Not bananas. A da uh, dash banana. Right banana. Good. A dash cat. A dash cat. Very good. A cute cat. Excellent. So now see, where all these words are what? Bright, old, big, cute, ripe. All these words are adjective. It is telling us something about nouns. See, all these are nouns. Yes? Now, the, uh, we'll be doing adjective uh, degrees of comparison. Now, when I'm talking degrees of comparison, we are having three degrees of comparison. Okay, some of you are still writing. Yes, Shriyash, what doubt you have, Vita? Write in chat. Shriyash, write in chat. I'll check over there. Uh, okay, uh, why the word my is not a pronoun? No, my is a pronoun. I'm not saying it's not a pronoun. I didn't say this. 
my is a pronoun yes when i am talking about first person it's a pronoun now i'm i never said that my is not a pronoun i am just saying that words are there explained according to the sentence now when i am doing adjective in adjective my goes under possessive adjective but that doesn't mean that my is not a pronoun my is a pronoun but when i am talking about some of the types i need to come up with few words my i am using here just to make you understand that there is a belonging anything that if something belongs to me obviously na i will use the word my i won't use the word your if that pencil belongs to me i will say na my pencil yes shriyash am i clear yeah okay beta now i can see three hands shriyash if your question has been answered beta just lower your hand uh, akira you need to write in chat uh you brother you radhini you have to write in chat please okay no question all hands are lower okay ah uh, akira write in chat please obviously yes beta good is adjective okay but good is what it's a quality when i'm talking about good bad see i explained in the beginning only quality when i'm talking about quality doesn't mean only it can be good only it may happen that the sentence is talking about any bad quality also okay yes akira okay you may just lower your hand if your question has been answered now there are three degrees of comparison now the three degrees of comparison are positive degree comparative degree and superlative degree now these three degrees are there now when we talk about degrees of comparison now see the word comparison means what when i'm comparing some but when we talk about the first step that is positive degree i am not going to compare anything i am just going to talk about the quality of one person or thing only one person i am not going to compare any two child i am not going to compare any two things i am not going to compare any two person i am simply going to talk about the quality of one particular person or one particular thing now there uh, you can see uh, it's already written over here the first step is called positive degree when we simply talk of the quality that one person or thing have now clever now when i'm saying clever i may say ram is clever ram is a clever boy so see i'm talking about only one person that is ram i'm saying clever i'm not comparing ram to anyone but when i'm talking about the second step that is uh, comparative degree i am going to compare two person or two things like for example when i am saying the word cleverer see clever cleverer cleverest now clever i already explained to you that when i am talking about one particular person i am if i say ram is a clever boy i am talking about one boy that is one person now if i am saying ram is cleverer than sham or ram is cleverer than uh, maybe sam so see again what i am doing i am comparing two person over here only two person ram and sam these two boys i am comparing so whenever we compare two things or two person we always use comparative degree and in comparative degree you see over here in this particular word cleverer yeah over here it was clever but over here i added er so please remember whenever we talk about comparative degree i'm comparing two person or things and i'm using the word uh, two letters over here i'm adding two letters er to the word clever you can't say clever and compare two person that's wrong you have to use the er letter you need to add to the word clever to make it cleverer 
Now, when I'm talking about the third step, that is superlative degree, when we compare one person or thing with more than two person or thing. Now, please remember, I'm comparing one person to more than two person or thing. I may say, Ram is cleverest of all. Now, Ram, I'm talking about one boy, and I'm saying Ram is cleverest of all. All may be, all comes up with many. All doesn't speak about two. All is telling us something like, yes, I may be, I'm talking about many over there. So whenever we are comparing one person with more than two person or thing, I am going to take it as compare, uh, superlative degree. And over here again, see, I have used the word ESC. I added these three letters to clever, cleverest. Ram is cleverest of all. That means I am comparing Ram to maybe the whole class. I'm saying this, that Ram is cleverest of all. Am I clear? Any doubt you are having regarding this slide? Any doubt? No doubt. Okay. Sure, everyone, no doubt? Okay. Now, see, there are few words. Where you are not going to add, where you are not, you can't. Did you ever heard, oh, see this first one, positive, I'm writing good. Comparative, I'm writing better. But superlative, I'm writing best. Am I using good, good or goodest? Did you ever heard this? No, no, we didn't. I never say, teacher never say, Shivin is gooder than uh, Shriyash or Shriyash is gooder than Shivin. Do she ever say? No, she never. She will say, she will use better. Because we don't have any such word. We are not going to use it. So good. There are few words that are uh, different. We do pronounce it different when we are talking about comparative and superlative. So good becomes better when we talk about comparative. And it becomes best when we talk about superlative. Bad become worse when we are talking about comparative. And it becomes worst when we talk about superlative. Akira, I did hear. I didn't get you. You're asking me something? Okay. Happy. Now see. Happy. Happier. Happiest. You have removed the word letter I and you have I. E R is added to it. And I E S T. Happiest. Now, Vita, like for these type of words, you need to know your spellings. You need to be very thorough with your spelling. If you know your spellings, like many students, what they, they do? H-A-P-P-Y-E-R. H-A-P-P-Y-E-S-T. That's wrong. We never, when we even, uh, when we are, uh, when I'm saying happier, I-E-R, you will remove Y, happiest, you will remove Y, you will add I-E-S-T, I will be used instead of Y. Okay, so comparative, superlative and uh, positive, you need to learn some of the words. Yeah, Akira, give one example, Arash, give one example if you want to. Yes, very good, Akira, heavy, heavier, heaviest. Okay. Okay, now tell me, if I'm saying the word beautiful, write in chat, Shivan. Yeah, I can see your hand. Write in chat. If I'm right, if I'm saying beautiful, positive, beautiful, yeah? So what should be the comparative and superlative for beautiful? Yes, Arash, you are correct. Uh, you are correct with those terms. But I want to know for beautiful. If I'm saying beautiful, what should I use for comparative and superlative? Yes, very good. That's correct, Shivan. So when I'm saying beautiful, Bitta, please remember, we never say beautiful or beautifulest. That's wrong. You will say for comparative, more beautiful. 
and for superlative most beautiful you will add more and most to it okay good arish good shivan i can see that you all are writing okay beta so whenever there are few words where you are not going to come up with any er est form you are instead of that you are going to add more for comparative and most for superlative any doubt any question over here any doubt okay no doubt okay now i'll be asking a uh, two three question and then i'll be ending the class now when we talk about degrees of comparison i want all of you to write in chat how many degrees of comparison do we have three name them name them very good that's correct positive comparative and superlative some of you are writing the wrong spelling but still i'm okay with i'm happy that you know the terms but please see the spellings okay now when we talk about positive just say yes or no when we talk about positive am i comparing anything just say yes or no when i'm saying positive am i comparing anything arash i am not comparing beta i am not comparing anything okay good the ones who have written no and those who are again very confused let me tell you when i am talking about positive i am not comparing anything okay now when i am talking about uh, comparative uh, sorry when i am talk positive i said earlier na now now when i am talking about comparative degrees am i comparing anything when i am talking about comparative degrees am i comparing anything okay good yes i am comparing two person or two things now when i am talking about superlative degree am i comparing anything superlative degree am i am i uh, am i beta you are writing no but i am comparing beta i am comparing okay when i am talking about superlative i am comparing one thing to more than two person or thing okay yeah okay good everyone okay children now uh, i hope no one uh, none of you have any question any doubt related to adjective no doubt okay children i hope you all uh, the class was very much clear. it was the topic was very much clear to you okay beta so if it's very much clear good so uh, now i'm ending the class Okay all of you take care hope to see you all in my class bye beta all of you take care bye good night bye beta bye